think there's more evidence today of the severe problems being faced by people who need a test for coronavirus and of thousands of results being delayed. The Prime Minister blamed the shortage on what he called a colossal spike in demand, with the reopening of schools being the prime cause of the spike. Boris Johnson's critics say it's also the case that the government has failed to deliver on its promises. Mr Johnson told MPs today that everything possible was being done and that he was determined to avoid another lockdown, which he said would be disastrous for the economy. Our health editor, Hugh Pym, has the latest. Long waits and frustration for people in South End queuing at a walk-in virus testing centre today. Further evidence of the immense strain on the whole system. I dropped my daughter off with my granddaughter. She was about 350 people behind all these to be told that they cannot get tested because they don't have enough. They only had enough tests to do for about 150 people. Beth, who lives in Surrey, has been trying repeatedly since yesterday to book a test, but can't. She and two of her children have symptoms. It's extremely stressful. It's added a lot of stress to what is already, you know, an upsetting time for us while we're, we're managing everybody being poorly. Um, trying to get through and constantly try to check my phone just to try and hope that, you know, we'll find a test somewhere. And it's just, it's really frustrating, to be honest. Experiences like that fueled exchanges at Prime Minister's questions. They've had six months, Mr Speaker, to get this right, and yet the Prime Minister still can't deliver on his promises. The Health Secretary said yesterday it would take weeks to sort the situation out. Well, Mr Speaker, we don't have weeks. What is happening, Mr Speaker, is that, is that the, British, the British people, quite understandably, are responding uh, to that system with a huge, huge surge in demand. Later, the Prime Minister at a Commons committee admitted there were problems. We don't have enough testing capacity uh, now uh, because uh, in an ideal world I would like to test absolutely everybody uh, that wants a, a test immediately. The government says the UK is testing more than other leading European countries and that is the case with the number expressed relative to the population. There are though some smaller European nations doing more. But laboratories analysing the tests here are struggling to keep up with the workload. The government says new labs are coming on stream, but not for a few weeks. Here's how much community testing, not including NHS staff and patients, has gone up in recent weeks. On September the 1st, there were just over 119,000 tests processed. That day, lab capacity, the ability to handle those tests, was 156,000. Then over the next couple of weeks, demand soared, with 163,000 tests processed in one day. On September the 10th, capacity was 161,000. Now, it would have gone up a bit over the next few days, but it still shows how tight things have become. And things like going back to schools... One health expert told me all this should have been anticipated a few months ago. The surge in demand for testing in this, as we enter autumn, was extremely predictable particularly because we expected COVID cases to increase again as autumn comes, which we're seeing they are, but also we were expecting COVID-like symptoms from conditions such as the common cold and flu to increase too. And both of those combined for an increased demand in testing. Back in July, people were being actively encouraged to get tests. If you're just worried, if you've got a temperature, you've got a cough, um, or you're just not quite sure that you feel right, the sensible thing to do in this COVID world is to go and get a test. Now it's very different. Capacity is much tighter, and the message is that only those with symptoms like high temperature should book a test. Confusion over what to do may well have added to the recent surge. Hugh Pym, BBC News. Well, health officials in the northwest of England have warned that the coronavirus testing system there is at breaking point. So great is the demand for tests that some hospitals in Bolton, Wigan and the Wirral have warned people with symptoms to stay away, saying that uh, there are no tests at their accident and emergency departments. And tonight, officials in the northeast of England say that they will impose new restrictions by the end of this week. We'll have more on that in a moment. But first, our health correspondent Dominic Hughes reports from Bolton in the northwest of England. In Bolton today, some had been able to book a test, but reports suggested that didn't last long. Testing capacity ran out in Bolton and many of the other worst affected areas. 
Others never made it past the front gate. Even in the town with the highest infection rates in the country, there's confusion about how to get a test. Turned me away, said you need to go online, uh, book an appointment, but I wasn't aware of that. Nobody's ever told me that. Uh, it wasn't clear online or I didn't, really didn't know. We, we could be spreading it. We haven't got a clue. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? If you can't, yeah. can't yeah. get a test, then what are you meant to do, yeah? Yeah. And I've tried this morning, I haven't taken a computer for hours. I can't get through. My room, bedroom, TV there. Ryan Gladwell has been stuck in his bedroom for seven days. <laughs> Isolating from his baby son and partner, he's got all the key symptoms of COVID-19, but for a week now, he's been unable to book a test. It is chaos because you can't have a testing system that when it needs to be called upon by any member of the public, no matter what their age, demographic, whatever, they should be able to get a test wherever they are in the country. I can't understand why it's going on so long. Here in Bolton, the town that has the highest infection rate in the country, this testing centre seems to be working relatively smoothly. But the government has put extra resources into testing centres in hotspots like this, so there are more slots available. But the infection rate across the northwest of England has risen dramatically, and that is putting real pressure on the system. Tracing those who've been in contact with people who test positive is the other key part of the programme, and that too is facing problems. In Greater Manchester, they want to use fire, safety and community police officers to do their own contact tracing. Test, trace and isolate is not uh, working uh, well enough uh, for Greater Manchester at the moment. And we have an, only a small number of weeks uh, to fix it before we get into the really tough time that lies ahead in the autumn and into the uh, winter. Testing, tracing and isolating are vital elements in containing COVID-19. This evening, in the worst hit areas of the UK, it looks like this strategy is facing real problems. And last night, the local hospital here in Bolton appealed to people to stay away from the accident and emergency department after more than 100 arrived seeking swab tests because they couldn't get tested locally. But those kind of stories we've heard in Bolton today have been spread right across the northwest. We've spoken to people in Lancashire, we've spoken to people on the Wirral, in Merseyside, in Warrington, all of them with familiar stories about the frustration of not being able to get tested. Uh, Dominic, many thanks again for the latest there in Bolton. Dominic Hughes, our health correspondent. And as I mentioned uh, just a short while ago, the BBC understands that parts of the northeast of England will also be subject to new coronavirus restrictions uh, by the end of this week. Our correspondent Fiona Trott joins us now from Northumberland. Um, Fiona, do you have details of what these new restrictions could mean? Well, what we know that the local authorities have asked for are restrictions on visiting people's homes with some exceptions, curfews on pubs and other venues at 10 o'clock at night and table service only. Um, more control of the testing arrangements too, we understand. You know that the Director uh, of Public Health in Gate said earlier this week expressed frustration because they had asked for a mobile testing unit. It was diverted somewhere else at the last minute. And we also understand that non-essential public transport is also being considered. Now, all those measures, we understand these local authorities have asked for. Uh, they are Newcastle, Gateshead, North and South Tyneside, Sunderland, County Durham and Northumberland. And that's a huge area, around 1.8 million people uh, may be affected. Why they're asking for this has been a sharp increase in cases over uh, the past couple of weeks. Sunderland at the moment has the highest number in the region, 72.8 uh, new cases uh, over the past seven days per 100,000 people. What they're saying also is that although the age of people that they've seen recently, that number of young people with uh, the virus has dropped it's going up again. The average age is increasing and they're saying that is a cause for concern. Any measures introduced are expected to be midnight on Thursday. Fiona, many thanks for the latest there in Northumberland and uh, the northeast of England. Fiona Trotter, correspondent.